Hello students, today we are going to perform an experiment to find out the focal length of the concave mirror. How do we do it? Yeah, we are doing it by UV method that means with respect to object distance and image distance also we can find out the focal length of the mirror. We know that when the object is at infinity, the image will be formed at f. But when the object changes its position, the position of the image also changes accordingly. This is well understood by ray diagrams and you know the value of the ray diagrams and you know where the image is going to be formed with respect to the object position. I am not going into the details of that. But the finding out the focal length using UV method is very important. Aim was experiment to find the focal length of the concave mirror using UV method. Apparatus required. This is the power source to excite the lamp. This is the light source and I have an object. You can see the object with an arrowhead which is pointing upwards. And this is the concave mirror. And mirror stand. This is the scale. By using this, I can find out the position of the object and as well as the position, position of the image. This is the screen where the image is going to be focused with respect to the object distance. Shall we start the experiment? Yes. Thank you. Please, students, please observe that I am keeping the mirror at 30 centimeter mark. The object is, where is the object? It is at 50 centimeter mark. Let me light the lamp. When I light the lamp, the rays traveling from the source of light are traveling straight and then falling on the mirror and then they are going back, eventually forming an image at a particular point. Let us find out where the image is going to be formed. One should bear in mind in the case of mirrors, the images are going to be formed on the same side as that of the light source. That means if the light source is here, the image is also going to be formed on this side only. Now, let us move this. See now. You can clearly see the image student you must observe the object position in the sense whether the arrowhead is towards down or up in this case it is pointed upwards whereas the image in the image the arrowhead is pointed downwards that means for this particular distance of the object the image is also formed it is inverted and it is captured on the screen. That means it is a real image. Now, you know that the focal length of the mirror is given by the formula F is equal to UV by 
u plus v where u is the distance between the object and the mirror and v is the distance from the mirror to the screen the mirror and object are separated by a distance of 20 cm that means object is at 50 cm mark the mirror is 30 cm mark the difference between two is 20 cm that means u is equal to 20 cm when we substitute the values of u and v in the equation f is equal to uv by u plus v the focal length turns out to be 10 cm now this experiment can be performed for different positions of the object correspondingly the positions of the images can be captured on the screen and that can be measured and the results are tabulated in the tabla column the focal length of the concave mirror turns out to be same is it understood so thank you very much